Hello and welcome to STEM with Mr N, where I perform different demonstrations and explain the science behind what we're seeing. This week I'm going to be exploring irrigation. Let's check it out. Irrigation is the artificial application of water to crops and humans have been using irrigation systems for thousands of years. These days an irrigation system will involve heavy machinery digging miles of trenches or even using electricity pumps to pull water up from deep underground. But thousands of years ago humans did not have these machines so they had to use some different methods. This could be diverting the natural flow of a river towards their crops, using lakes to have storage of water for times when there was drought, or even using gravity based systems to divert rainfall as it comes down higher up the mountains to evenly distribute the water to their crops. Today I'm going to show you how to build a very simple irrigation system using only gravity, but I'm also going to tell you ways that you can extend this for yourself. For this activity all you need are some plastic cups, some plastic drinking straws, something sharp like a pair of scissors or a knife, some water and a hot glue gun or some clay or blue tack. You'll also want to do this activity on a surface that it's ok to get wet, so you might want to do it outdoors. I'm just going to set up my irrigation system using three cups. So the first thing I'm going to do is take one of the cups and put a hole quite high up in the cup and feed one end of a drinking straw through this hole. Then I'm going to take one of my other cups and I'm going to put a hole lower down than I did in the first cup and feed the other end of the drinking straw into this hole. So you'll see now I have my straw going down at a slope from the first cup into the second. I'm then going to put a second hole into that first cup and feed another straw through this hole. I'm then going to take my third cup and put a hole low down on that so it's lower than the second hole I put in that first cup and feed the other end of the straw into this. And now you see I have three connected cups, one cup in the middle connected through two plastic straws to cups on either side. I'm now going to use a hot glue gun to seal round where the straws enter the cups to try and stop there being any leaks coming out when I apply water to my irrigation system. You could use clay or blue tack but the main thing is that you're using something which can stick tightly to the cup to try and be watertight because we really don't want any leaks coming out of our system. Now my irrigation system is set up with my three interconnected cups. I also have a cup of water with food colouring in it so you can clearly see the water as it moves through my system and I also have a cup with plain water in it just to be able to top up my cups as I'm testing out my system. What I'm going to do before I test this is just put some kitchen roll down underneath the cups. Although I've got an easy to clean tablecloth I don't want there to be a big spillage all over it and kitchen roll will help contain any spillages that there are. I'm now going to pour in the water with food colouring in it into the middle cup, watching what happens when the water level reaches the straws. You'll notice as the water level is reaching the straws, it is running down the straw using that force of gravity to put water into the cups on either side. Something I have noticed though is I have leaks coming from a couple of the cups, so these have not been completely sealed when I have put on the hot glue. So what I'm going to do is just use some more hot glue and try and seal off these bits where the water is coming out. This is an important note about the engineering process, because once you have designed and built something it is important to test it to make sure that it works and if it doesn't work you need to ask yourself why it is not working and what you can do to fix it. And that is what I have been doing with my irrigation system. I saw there were some leaks so what I need to do is try and seal these off by applying more hot glue in places that it hasn't sealed and then I'm going to test the system again. So now I've added more hot glue, it is time to test it again and again I'm going to be using a cup with food colouring in it and a cup of plain water. Again you will notice when the water level is reaching the straws it is filtering down the straws into these cups on either side and I've managed to eliminate the big leak from the cup in the middle and the small leak from the cup on my left. There's now also a small leak coming from the cup on the right because as I've moved the cups around that has obviously broken the seal there but I'm still able to show you how an irrigation system works. From one central location using gravity I'm able to flow the water out to cups on either side. 
There are a few different ways you could extend this activity. You could have more cups coming off from your central cup with more straws, or you could have the central cup filtering out to one cup going out to another cup, or you could also see how you can make it filter from the centre cup to an outside cup using a further distance than just one straw. How could you link a couple of straws together to get the water to flow into these cups? Also, can you get the water to flow so that it evenly fills each cup so there's the same amount of water in each? There's lots of different ways that you can extend this activity and test out different methods for building an irrigation system. I've just decided to show you one simple system today. Well, that's all for this week. I hope you enjoyed it. As always, if you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons to stay up to date on all future content. I'd like to take this opportunity to answer any science questions you have about any science topics at all. So feel free to email me at stemwithmrn at outlook.com and I'll get back to you with answers to your questions. You can subscribe to the channel by pushing the button here and I've added links here to the other STEM demo and explanation videos I do, here to my STEM career interviews and here to my Things You Should Know series. This has been STEM with Mr N, exploring irrigation.